Right then, this is a quick road test video, and this is for a Honda CRV 1.6 EX diesel, and it's the automatic version. This particular car is registered DG65HTX, and mileage at the start of the video is 65,576 miles. As I say in all of the videos, the reason for doing them is very simple. It's basically so that if anyone's looking at any of our cars online in the adverts, they actually get to see that very car in operation. The reason we think it's important is very simple, is we know to our cost, unfortunately, just how frustrating it can be to go and travel quite a distance to go and see a car, only to get there and find out when you drive it, it's got a fundamental issue, which manifests itself when you're driving the car. So that's why we do it. It's also done on these very quiet country roads where uh, hop, skip and a jump off the motorway, it's ever so easy to get to us. Um, and the reason we do it on these roads is it'll hopefully be representative of what you'd feel yourself should you be offered to test drive in the car. So coming to the car, as I always do, I go through as many of the functions as I can one by one, starting with the engine, which push button start starts immediately and settles to completely smooth, even idle. There's no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or any other part of the vehicle. I do the temperature gauge a little bit later in the video because I try and do these videos when the cars are cold because that's when if there's any issues that they tend to show themselves at that point. The engine is brilliant. It's very, very punchy. Um, pulls really hard, noticeably quicker than the previous 2.2 litre engine, which was always a superb engine. Uh, but this has got, you know, that initial bite, um, urge rather, is so, so quick and, and, and dynamic. Um, it's also a very smooth and quiet engine in operation. It's a fabulous unit. Um, Honda's reputation for reliability um, is greater than any other manufacturers in the real world of cars, and I'm talking about cars always between sort of five and 15 years old. Um, it, the, the, it's why their second-hand values are so strong, basically, because uh, people know it and the trade knows it as well. Um, but a really, really brilliant diesel engine, and that then goes through into this amazing gearbox. Uh, nine-speed automatic gearbox um, so plenty of ratios there to extract the best out of the economy and also the performance of the car but what is amazing about it is just how smooth it is in the gear changes you, know, you put your foot down and it's the gear changes are all but immediate and just borderline imperceptible uh, amazing amazing gearbox all the functions working as they should, all the gear changes are lovely and smooth, so all absolutely spot on. Steering of the car, really nicely weighted. Honda know this market so well that this the CRV is the best selling SUV in the world. So and it's for a reason. Um, you get in them and drive them and they feel lovely and secure and solid on the road, and the steering is the main part that um, it, gives you that impression. Um, it feels weighty, it feels precise, it's very accurate. This particular example feels incredibly tight on the road, it tracks absolutely dead straight. Um, there's no vibrations at all at this speed, or any speed up to the legal limit actually. Um, but it's a lovely power steering system, really, really is, and it suits the chassis perfectly. Because again, with the chassis, what they're looking to do is obviously to transport people as comfortably as possible. Taller vehicles with soft springs is a really bad combination because it basically means the thing will wallow about through the corners and over undulations. Um, they may be soft on the dead ahead, they're comfortable, but dreadful, dreadful through the corners. Honda strike a brilliant compromise with the car by giving you something that's very comfortable in pretty much all circumstances, but one that flows through corners really, really well. The body control is absolutely superb compared to a lot of its comp competition. Um, whether that be sort of quick corners or you know, even little maneuvers like this, you know, where to sort of swing around. Um, some sort of four drives kind of, kind of keel over um, and lollop about, but these don't. They're just, you know, very, very composed indeed. Um, what I'm also looking for on the road tests is just any noises coming from underneath the vehicle that shouldn't be there. Um, 
you'll hear bumps of course but it should be subdued and there's no noises no sort of clatterings or knockings at all from underneath the vehicle brakes on the car just make sure they're gonna hit them too hard we've just fitted new front brake pads onto the front of the car as part of the pre-delivery inspection but it's really powerful brakes on the vehicle um, there's no pulsing no uh, vibrations coming back through the brake pedal at all so all absolutely as it should be inside the vehicle probably the thing that strikes you most about driving any used CRV really um, once it's been well looked after is just how brilliantly put together they are literally not a squeak or a rattle or a buzz from the inside of the car it's just brilliantly brilliantly made um, but also a lovely place to sit because you've got this dashboard which is very simple and easy to use um, fantastic visibility all around aided by the um, big rear view uh, the big wing mirrors on the car I can actually see a bonnet and pretty much the end of the bonnet as well it's you know it's a rarity in a modern car but it makes you feel really um, comfortable and uh, confident driving the vehicle um, everything working exactly as it should layouts really nice even though it's a very highly equipped car sat nav as you can see they're working perfectly air conditioning which is dual zones so with different temperatures side to side um, and pumping out absolutely ice cold air by the way heated seats on this model again working exactly as they should dashboard in front really simple legible easy to read, to read dials as is the way with honda uh, product um, temperature gauge now running at a third as it's up to full operating temperature which is exactly what it's meant to be on a honda car steering wheel feels great in hand it really does it's got small in diameter leather bound it just makes the car i suppose feel a bit more maneuverable than it is perhaps um, so many of the competition again tend to go for big kind of truck like steering wheels really wide diameter so even for small maneuvers you're sort of soaring on the steering wheel um, but this is beautifully done and it said it just feels so it's hardly ever been held um, you obviously got cruise control hands-free all the functions um, working all absolutely perfectly we check them all uh, it's absolutely spot on this model comes with four-wheel drive uh, the Honda again pretty much worked out straight away that the vast majority of people buying these cars will be driving in perfectly good conditions as I am today so there's no point at all in having a permanent four-wheel drive system um, because all that does unfortunately is it uses more fuel puts more mechanical stress to the vehicle and eats up your tires more quickly so basically this runs in front wheel drive the most efficient way to pull any car along um, pretty much the whole time only as and when um, you lose grip on the front wheels and it's instant so you, you don't lose grip at all um, on sort of snow ice or mud it brings in a uh, four-wheel drive seamlessly it's a brilliant brilliant system it really is so so clever in operation um, and also its reliability the simplicity rather gives it its reliability because there's less to go wrong it's been used less often and we've, we've never so much as put a spanner on a Honda using the system in over two decades of selling selling them um, this full drive system as I said at the start of the video the point as brief as it may be is literally just to show the car in operation uh, the car drives faultlessly it's absolutely as tight as a drum and I'm giving it no allowance at all for age or mileage it feels as a 5,000 mile car would drive it's that tight um, as always though if you've got any questions don't hesitate do give us a call